friends of Jennifer contacted us and they've organized a search party and they they want us to take part in it. And I've flown in some guy from Ontario who claims to have some sort of visions of seeing where Jennifer's body could possibly be somewhere around here. They want us to come along for the ride to see what we can find together. It may seem far-fetched, but I guess desperate times call for desperate measures. It's almost 18 months to the day since Jennifer disappeared and her friends are willing to try just about anything to find her. Why are you so convinced you're going to find her? I see myself standing next to a hole with a couple police officers and there's somebody in it. Is this crazy? Yeah, it is. It's totally off the wall, but I, I'm, I, I have no options. I, this we have to try this. I would never rest if we didn't try it. And if we come up with nothing, we come up with nothing. We've tried. Yeah. If we come up with something, we found her. We suspect all along she's in this area. So hopefully. We are just driving into uh, Gina's cabin lot, actually. We'll park down there and we'll walk the shoreline. I don't let myself hope or believe too much because I don't, we've gone a year and a half without finding her, but we don't know anything unless we try it. Okay, should be right up in this cove over here. She could be anywhere. Yeah, there's a lot. No. Chances of coming upon her is pretty lucky. I hope Dave can tune in. Yeah. You know, that's, that would be more than what we got. Any luck? I think it's here. I for example, it's out of the way. Well, because you think she's here, you think the police is going to come and do it? Well, I don't know. If we need the, what I'm saying, if we need the police to come here with resources, that ain't happening. Because we think she could be here. It needs to be a little bit more, I think. <laughs> so, but it's you're I thinking know. here. I, I'm sure it's in here. Like, in this like if we dig here, we'll find her. Yes, but we'll get some shovels. Come on. I don't know the exact spot though. How you doing? Not much. So do you think we should dig here? No, oh, like I mean, I would. But oh, like you know, I'm a little bit hopeless. I'm just looking for the fucking yeah. area. That if we're to look at this as we are now, 18 months since she disappeared, how much closer are you today than you were 18 months ago to finding Jennifer? No closer. Nothing's changed? Nothing. We might be further away, if anything. If she's buried, she's more decomposed. If she's in water, she's washed out further. We're probably further than closer. But you, you, I feel your, your frustration with the fact that you have to come out here and do this on your own. I mean, why is it that you're out here leading a search on your own? I don't know. Hey, if we find Jennifer, I don't think it's going to be because of the police. It's going to be because somebody came across her or, you know, one of our searches that we'll have. Enough illness. You're feeling less confident? Oh, yeah. Really? This is gone. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's just extreme measures, I guess, for grasping at straws. But that's all we got left, Gina, like, the straws. I'm feeling their frustration. 
but now, and I guess after spending some time with the family, spending some time with Vicky and Gina, I'm not only feeling their frustration, but I'm beginning to share their frustration as well. Hmm. This idea that, I mean, look around. There's all this empty space, and we're out there trying to find some sort of signs where a body could be buried. You know, following a, a psychic. And I'm thinking to myself as we're wandering through the woods, are they crazy for doing this or are we crazy for being part of this? And I'm not sure. After today, I'm just not sure. But there's that feeling that you just want to find something. And, and every time you come around the corner, you're thinking, well, maybe we'll get lucky. But it's going to take a lot more than luck.